Welcome everyone to our teddy bear patchwork art lesson. This is our first video. We're going to be warming up with this video. These are the materials we need. We are going to use our black sharpie, a pencil, an eraser, a piece of warm up paper, and then what I need for you to do is go around your house and find a piece of scratch paper that no one is using anymore. You can find it maybe in the kitchen, maybe you can even find it in the recycling bin. Just grab a piece of paper that no one else is going to need because we are going to be using this to be under our warm-up paper and for the rest of the lesson because when we use Sharpie, Sharpie can bleed through onto our tables and our countertops and we're going to try to avoid that. Okay, so if you do not have these materials right now, I want you to press pause. Go grab the materials, press play, and we are going to get started. Today, Sarah and I are ready to start our lesson. Sarah this has is what happens when we don't put a paper. Yeah. And there we go. There's some Sharpie on our table, yeah. So, we are going to get started. Sarah's workspace is ready to go. I'm going to go, I'm going to have Sarah go over right now what she has been going over the last couple of videos, just to give us a friendly reminder how to keep a positive attitude. Number one, always try your best. Number two, if you get frustrated, take a deep breath. Count to 10, take a deep breath and try again. Number three, everyone's art will turn out differently. Your artwork is uniquely yours. Number four, art is not perfect. Thank you for the reminders. Let's everybody keep these four things in mind when we're doing our art lesson and we're gonna have a good time. All right, I'm gonna go over a few samples. Then I'm gonna go over, um, I'm gonna show you art portfolios from Joey and Sammy. And then we're gonna get started with our warm up. So here you have a uh, piece of artwork here with very, very simple lines. You have some thick, darker lines, thinner ones and thinner ones as you move through this area right here. This line right here starts at one point and ends at a different point. Lines can start at one point and come back around and end right where they started to enclose it. So here's an example of a circle. Here's a more of an oval -y shape. Here's like more of a triangular shape in that, in that, in that um, line use. Show you some more lines. Here's an art piece. This artist started at the very center and made some swirling lines out to create segments. And within each segment, used a different line pattern. So look at all these different patterns. A lot of great use of shapes, swervy, curly lines, straight lines. Okay, here's another one. This one's a real fun one. This artist divided the paper up into squares and then within each square drew a different line segment. Some of those line segments have curves to them. Some of them are straight. Some of them have some shapes to them. Some of them just go all over the place. This one right here has two things going on. This looks like, um, like I don't know, if you turn it this way, an M. You turn it this way, maybe a W. Okay. And the reason why I'm showing you these lines is that we are going to incorporate some line patterns within our artwork today. But what we are going to do, the main part of the lesson, is we are going to be creating squares to put together to make it look like a quilt or, or um, just a patchwork of different designs. So here's an example right here that you have, and you have in each square a different pattern or a different design, okay? Here's another example right here. Here's an example of an actual quilt with a bunch of different squares and rectangles all sewn together. Each of them has an, their own unique design to it, shape to it. Some of them have a thick outline to them, okay? 
This is more of an up close one, like a zoomed in one. There's just four of them here. A lot of great use of lines. And this is what our artwork is going to emulate right here. This is a quilt of four teddy bears sewn together. They're all the same size, the, the squares, and within each square, there's a different teddy bear. And now I'm gonna show you an example of a finished product. I'm gonna do it up close and then I'm gonna have Sarah hold it so you can see it far away. So you all received six five inch by five inch cut pieces of const white construction paper. And we are going to be designing a different square six times and we're gonna mount it all together. Here, Sarah, hold that. We're gonna mount it all together for our final piece. So this is what it's gonna look like all together, okay? All right, so you can put that down. I'm gonna show them another example. Thank you. I'm gonna show up close so that you can see them. All right. Sarah, hold that. And then I'm gonna post this up. And that's what it's gonna that's what this one looked like all mounted together awesome thanks Sarah all right now I want to give you some inspiration so what Sarah did is she collected a ton of our stuffed teddy bears she brought them down here and that's her inspiration for this lesson so I'm gonna give you a screenshot of all of our teddy bears So if you have any teddy bears in your house, I want you to pause the video right now. I want you to go get your teddy bears or teddy bear and bring your stuffed animal back and have it sit with you throughout this lesson for inspiration. That is the mama of that bear. That is the mama of that bear. And that is the mama of the Loma Vista bear. Yeah, we have our Loma Vista bear. Maybe you have a Loma Vista bear at home. You can go grab them. All right, we are gonna get started. Sarah, you can take the bears and you can put them all around you. For, long, for some motivation, inspiration. All right. So we are going to get started on... Get in front of me. Here in front of you, okay. We're going to get started by pulling out your warm-up paper, and you are going to fold it in half, just like this. You're going to open it back up, and you're going to see that you have a left-hand side and a right-hand side. We're going to move over to the left-hand side over here, we're gonna grab our Sharpie. So take your Sharpie. You're gonna uncap your Sharpie, put the cap on the back. So you don't lose it. That's right, we don't wanna lose our, our Sharpie uh, caps. And we're just gonna practice some really fun lines right now on the left-hand side, and then we're gonna save the right-hand side for a directed drawing warm-up. So the very first line that I'd like you to try is tilting your Sharpie so that it is close to the warm-up paper make a straight line across and when you tilt it down like that it creates a thick broad line now hold your sharpie a little bit more upright and using the very tip of your sharpie you can create a thin line going across so depending on the angle that you have your sharpie that will determine how thick or thin your lines are going to be Okay, all right, I'm gonna do a jagged line. Everyone follow along with me, a jagged line. And how about some like curly cues? Either looks like some cursive bees or a pig's tail. Pig's tails curl like this, huh? Well, not this many times. Do you wanna give me a line, Sarah, that you wanna share with the class? Um. Go for it. I'm gonna. Sh I'm going to have them watch you do it. She's gonna do a line, a dot, line, dot, line, dot. Okay, stop there. <laughs> you can do one more line. <laughs> okay, let's everyone follow along with that line. So, line, dot, line, dot, line, dot. 
Do you want to give me another one? Um, what about um, square, triangle, square, triangle? You want to do a pattern with shapes? Okay, let's see you do it. Square. Square. I like that you incorporated some shapes in that. Okay, I'm going to follow along with you. Square, triangle, square, triangle. Square, triangle. Square, triangle. All right, how about this one? How about a wave? Oh, we can do that next. Oh, are you? <laughs> okay, how about we just do a wave? So, Sarah, I'm, think, I'm looking at this line that you did over here. Mm -hmm. Could we do something like this? A line out and then a line down. Mm -hmm. A line out, a line down. Like a line. Out, down, out, down. It's like a line, a one, a line, a one. A line, a one. A minus sign, a one. A minus sign, a one. And then you made me think of something when you did these shapes. What if we use triangles but we flip them? So we do a triangle pointing up, and then a triangle pointing down. I was down. about to say that you. Were you? Are, yeah. are, are we in sync with our minds? Are we thinking the same way? Mm -hmm. uh, triangle pointing up. Uh-oh. That's shaking. All right. A triangle pointing down. Triangle pointing up. A triangle pointing down. That's a fun line pattern. I got one. Okay, what do you got? We could do um, um, backward C's. Backward C's? Mm hmm Awesome, okay. What about um, is, um, A uppercase, A lowercase? Okay, we can do some A, uppercase A, lowercase A. A. That's the letters. What if you do the letter of your first, oh gosh. Oh, look at what I did. How funny am I? I'm okay with it. I'm going to be flexible. I made a mistake. I put a B after I went uppercase A, lowercase A, uppercase A, lowercase A, uppercase A, lowercase A. Uppercase B. <laughs> Remember, this is just warm up. If you just mess, cross it out. If you, hey, I could just cross it out. If you mess up, oh well. This is just a warm up. Do um never ending squares. That uh, seven two three. Oh, okay. So Sarah wants me to do this one. Watch. Okay. So you got it. Everybody stop. Everybody watch. This is a little bit tricky. So watch me first. So you're gonna go down, across, up across like almost like you're gonna make a square but you stop before it connects so everyone do that it's a never-ending square Up. and then oh here so mm -hmm. then you're gonna go mm -hmm. did I mess up yeah but that's okay why don't you try okay. it down here, try it down here. I'll just do a square and then tinier squares and oh, then okay. I'll do a never-ending all right, okay, I'm gonna follow along with Sarah just so we're on the same page. Okay, so she did a square and now she's doing squares within squares. Okay, so let's do that. I need to learn how to do a never ending square. Okay, thank you for being flexible on that. All right, so Sarah did square uh, squares okay. within a big square. Okay. I see. We get that one. That's a good one. Okay, so here's how you do the and never the ending. never ending square, watch. So Sarah, watch. You start by going down, mm -hmm. and then up, out, up, and then you almost connect it like it's going to finish your square. Do you want to come up and see it? Can yeah. you see it? Where you are? So like down, over, up, in, and stop. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then you go down, two, over, up, three. in, stop. No, you can go a little further, a little further. Yeah. Okay, and then down, over, oh. up, in, stop. Down, over, up, in, stop. Down, over. That's as far as I can get. 
It's like, it's kind of like our, uh, the labyrinth at school. But that one's circular. All right, how about- What should you get? I got- Oh, I don't know. Like- You got a lot of them. That. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, how about we just do some parallel lines? So parallel lines are lines that never cross, and they're the same length from each other all the way down. So watch, I'm gonna do a I slanted a line. Space. You have more, oh yeah, a little, okay, that's fine. You can go up to the top too if you ran out. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do parallel lines slanting. So do you uh, see how they're the same yeah. length across from mm -hmm. each other and they never cross? Wait. So I'm just gonna do some parallel lines running across. Parallel lines. Like L's, like if you were like um, just slanted, slanted L's, yeah. yeah. Slanted lines. Okay, now I'm gonna now I'm gonna make it a little bit more complicated. So do your slanted lines all the way across, and then we're gonna go the other way. This is called hatching. Oh, okay. You can get up and, and look. I know it's hard for you to see where you're sitting. I'm crossing them. Going the opposite direction. Opposite parallel lines. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait, so that means I go this way? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to do something that makes it look similar to like a castle. Like a, the part where the guards stand. Okay, you can go up to the um, other side, Sarah. Well I, well, I have space. Yeah, you can do it to the side of that, or you can go up here. I'm going to do, um, it looks like the, the castle where the guards, like this, where the guards stand. And then, and then up. up, over, down. Yep, you got it. What if we do some circles that are overlapping? So here's a circle. Oh, um, and then overlap it. Oh, yeah. I that in the yeah. Sarah has been such an amazing uh, assistant with her brother's art lessons too. And we've done some art line lessons with her brothers. So she's been helping me a lot. It's pretty, oh, pretty cool. cool. Alright, so she's doing some overlapping circles. Now what I want you to do is I want you when this is over. I get, I get when this lesson is over, the video's over, I want you to come up with some more lines over here of your own, okay? Okay. Yep, you can do some later. Okay, mm -hmm. so cap your Sharpie, get your pencil out, and what we are gonna do is we are going to do a directed drawing lesson of a bear. So you're gonna follow along with me with a pencil. Pencil. You have your pencil, you have your eraser, or maybe your pencil already has an eraser. I so you have your pencil and your eraser, and we're gonna, I am going to, when I do it, I always do it a little bit on the dark side because I want you to be able to see. But we do it online. But you, following along, you're gonna do it, you're gonna write very, very lightly. We're gonna make okay? a bear. We are gonna make a bear. When we are doing... Do a full one. I am gonna do a full one. Thank you, Zach. All right. When we are, whenever I do people or characters or animals, I always start with the face. And in, within the face, I always start with the eyes. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna come up kind of towards the top of your page, and, but down enough so that when you put the eyes, you have room for the top of the head and the ears. So come down enough to have room for the top of the head and the ears. Is that good? That much? Yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. All right, so do two circles for the eyes. One and two. It doesn't have to be perfect. No, because art's not perfect. We're just going to try our best. And you can mess up all you want because it's a warm up. Yes, I love this part of the lesson. It's the warm up. Okay, now I'm going to pick a different shape. I'm going to pick a square for the nose. And I'm going to do the nose with a square that has curved uh, corners. So I'm going to go like this. So the corners are curved. If you, if you They're kind of like a square. Just, yeah, yeah it's just like um, a circle but um, in a square form yeah yeah because the, they're they're um, the corners are uh, curved all right like so I have that oh. then I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna come to um, this side of the nose and I'm gonna do a, a line that goes up and over it almost looks like 
um, like a candy cane almost. I mean, that's the, the closest thing I can think of it. Candy that would be a really candy. wide candy cane. I don't know. That would be a really wide candy cane. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Yeah. Here, I'm going to do this one a little bit wider. And this is actually going to be where my ears are over here. Big ear. And then I'm going to finish the top of the head right here. The bear's head is right here. Wait, now I'm going to come down and I'm going to do the mouth. Why? And the mouth is going to come, the mouth area, I should say. It's going to be a circle that goes around the nose. The nose is going to be at the top of the circle. And then I'm going to give him or her a smiley, <laughs> a smile that looks like a, an anchor or a hook. So I have the basic outline of the face. And now I'm going to bring, these are my ears. I'm going to bring the ears. Oh goodness, I keep shaking it. Sorry guys. I'm going to bring the ears like down a little bit like that. Wait, how? You want to stand up and see it? Like that? Okay. Let's see. Yeah. And then I'm going to take my pencil and I am going to come around and finish the bear's face. Kind of like almost a circle. All right. Um, are we going to do circles in the ears? Okay. Would you like to do circles in the ears? Or, or half circles? Oh, yeah. No, you tell me. Half circles. Half circles? Okay. So I'm going to do a half a circle inside the ear. Half circle and then a line. And then a line, yeah. And then I'm going to do a circle inside the eyes. Circle. And that's the eyeball. Oh yeah. Right? Like an eyeball. Now I'm going to do the bear's neck. Mine is looking down. Is yours looking down? Okay, awesome. Now just do uh, two straight lines down for the neck. And then I'm going to bring his, uh, this teddy bear's arms just straight out for this the, for the warm up. I'm going to do a bear like it's going to hug you. Like it's going to hug you. Yeah, he's reaching out. He's opening his arms because this bear's going. This teddy bear's going to give you a hug. And then a like line this. down below. Yeah, just like that. And then a line down below. And then we're going to connect those lines with ovals for the paws, the paw area. Oh yeah. And then you can make a little paw area. So I would do like a, an oval and then three circles. Oh goodness, I'm a little wobbly, sorry you guys. And then an oval and three circles. <laughs> so this bear is giving you a big hug and teddy bears are usually really, really fluffy. So I'm gonna make his body super fluffy. And I'm gonna come down. And you know what, actually Sarah, I'm going to come down and I'm going to, because you're drawing so lightly, right? Um, I don't know if I'm drawing lightly, yeah. Well, this next part, will you make it a point to draw lightly? Because we're going to do a little bit of erasing. We are? Yeah. Um, so why don't stand up so you can see how I do this? I think this will okay. reduce frustration on the bottom part of the bear on the legs. Wait, where are we going to go right there? I'm going to show you. So I'm going to come down like this. Oh, to make them fluffy. I can erase this over here if I want. Oh, okay. So. Okay, so go ahead and make a uh, circular belly. Oh, yeah. yeah. Circular belly. Sorry. It shakes when I erase. And now I'm going to stick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have my bear standing. Yeah. So I need, I need to pull my paper up. I'm going to come... I'm going to come and do a leg right here and a leg right here. And I'm going to do, do the paws, the oval part. And now this, Sarah, is where you can erase. This is where the body meets the, the leg. Oh, yeah. Uh. And then you can add the um, oval. oval. And then the paws. And then the little circles. These are uh, more smaller details of our bear. Okay, so I, we have our bear here. So we've practiced a full bear. Now we're gonna get a Sharpie out and this is, where, this is how we're gonna finish it off. 
we're going to practice our tracing skills. Okay? You just created a bear, and now we're just going to open up our Sharpie, uncap it, put the cap on the bottom, Can and... I sure, here. Okay, Sarah's all done with hers. She wants to show you hers. Mine's like... Beautiful. Oh, give him a, the top of his head. Oh. That, oh, that. oh, I see it now. I didn't see it at first. Okay, here. Let me see. Let's see it again. Okay, there is Sarah's. I did this yesterday. And Sarah practiced that one yesterday. That was hers yesterday. And do you see how Sarah's, the one from yesterday, is different than hers today? Because every, it turns out differently every time. Okay? Mm -hmm. So now... That's why if you want a lot of them, you have to use a copy machine. <laughs> yeah, you could use a copy machine. All right, everyone get your Sharpie out and start tracing. And this is where we're going to, to finish. Yeah, we're going to trace our pencil lines. And this is where we're going to finish our warm-up lesson for today. So I'm going to start with the eyes again. I'm going to go in the same order. I'm going to do the eyes. Oh, I'm not. It doesn't matter. I just said I'm going to do the same order. I'm going to do the outside and then the inside. Okay, totally. All right, I'm going to just sharpie oh, it wait. all. Are we going to keep the thing like that, or are we going to erase it? Oh, it? great question. We, we uh, keep it. It's... Yesterday when I practiced, we keep it. We kept it? Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to keep it. All right. <laughs> Sarah was wondering if we were going to erase this line right here where the head meets the neck. She says she's going to keep hers. Everybody's art is going to turn out uniquely different. Oh, so. Have a thin one? Thin. The thin sharpie? So, yeah, I wanted to, hang on, let me find it. Uh -huh. Oh, you know what, honey? I don't know where the thin Sharpie is. Oh, I do. Hang on, hang on. Okay. All right, so Sarah just requested a thin Sharpie. Yeah. Cause so you may or may not have thin Sharpies at home. See how tiny the point is? But you might have a um, just a black pen at home that you might want to use for, for the, the for the paw for like the tiny tiny areas. I need it. Or you can just keep it penciled and you don't have to tra uh, trace it at all. I'm gonna. So I'm gonna hand it off to Sarah. She wants a thin sharpie. Like I said, if you have a thin sharpie at home, you can use a thin sharpie. If you don't have a thin sharpie at home and you have like a just a a pen that maybe your the adult in your house writes with that's black you can use that mm -hmm. or if you don't have either and it's a really small area just don't trace it and just keep it in pencil mommy next time you hand out the materials you should hand out thin sharpies oh i know honey i just you know i i don't think that that is going to be something i'm going to be able to hand out this year okay now look look what look what happened sarah when i was tracing Mm -hmm. I didn't quite get it as round as I want. And so that could lead me to get frustrated, right? Just erase the pencil line. I could erase the pencil line. But what? Uh, now I'm frustrated. What, sh what should I do? I take scared. a deep breath and count to ten. Okay, I'm going to take a deep breath because this is not how I wanted it to be. I'm going to take a deep breath. Okay, I'm going to count to ten. Take In my a head. deep breath, count to ten. Take a... Deep breath and try again. Okay, I'm going to take another deep breath. And try again. And I'm going to try it again. Okay, and now, now I'm going gonna, gonna to shake it off. Thank you. That's a great example. I'm going to shake it off, and I'm going to be okay with it because I tried my best. All right, I'm going to keep going. Nothing is going to be perfect. It's fun the way it turns out. Nada. Nada. Okay, I'm trying really hard to stay on my pencil lines, doing my best, but I'm kind of going outside of some of my pencil lines, and that's okay. Yeah, then you could erase the pencil. Then I can go and erase the pencil lines. Thank you, Sarah. Okay. All right, so I'm going to borrow the thin Sharpie. Is that, can you hear me that thin Sharpie? I'm going to mm -hmm. keep going with my paw area with a thin Sharpie. Again, y if you don't have a thin Sharpie or a, pence, uh, or, um, pen. a pen, you can either leave it white or you can trace it with your, uh, this Sharpie if you want. Yeah, if it looks like the, the Sharpie that you were given at the material uh, drop-off is going to be too big for an area, you can just leave it in pencil also. Now you're oh, you're gonna eyes, have to be the judge of that. Uh, the eyes, I just did. Okay. Have them. All right. 
I'm not I'm not going to spend the time to erase this with the video because it's just going to get all shaky when I erase. I know. So, but what I'd like you to do right now is if you have any pencil lines showing, um, you're going to practice erasing right now the pencil lines. I'm just going to erase the whole thing because that's... So, th these are the skills. Everything we practice right now, we're going to incorporate all these skills into creating our uh, actual art piece. Okay? So, I hope you guys had a good time with the warm-up. The next video, we're going to start the lesson. And my prediction is we're going to need two videos to do the complete lesson. So we will see you back here again for the next video. Bye-bye.